This is the third of the video series uh, about theory of the firm. So this is the third video. This is in the IB economics high level only component. In this video, I will look at economic costs and the difference between implicit and explicit costs. Let's start by defining economic costs. What are economic costs? Basically, economic costs are the total opportunity costs that are incurred by a firm for its use of resources, whether these resources are purchased by the firm or self-owned by the firm. So economic costs look at the opportunity costs of using the resources that you're using to produce your output, whether these resources are resources that the firm owns or resources that are purchased by the firm. Now, economic costs are calculated by adding the implicit costs and the explicit costs. So, economic costs equal explicit costs plus implicit costs. Let's clarify what the difference is between implicit and explicit costs. So I mentioned earlier that economic costs are the sum of the explicit costs and the implicit costs. I'll start by explaining the explicit costs. Explicit costs are what we know as the accounting costs. These are the costs that involve direct payment of money, and this happens when the firm purchases factors of production from others. Remember, these are costs that are incurred when the firm purchases resources from others to use in production. Say, for example, the firm employs a worker. That worker will be paid a wage. This is an example of an explicit cost. If the firm buys raw materials from a supplier, the firm will pay money. Again, this is an explicit cost. Now, implicit costs, on the other hand, these are the earnings that a firm could have made if it had employed the factors of production it owns in another use or hired them out or sold them to another firm. So these costs are actually incurred when the firm owns factors of production and uses them in production. So, say for example the firm owns a building and is using this building as its office space. By using this building as its office space, the firm is missing out on hiring that building to someone else and earning rental income. That rental income is an implicit cost. So it is the opportunity cost, basically, of using your own resources instead of selling them or hiring them out to another firm. Another example of an implicit cost. So say, for example, there's a young entrepreneur who decided to set up um, her own business. Uh, so she had a choice between earning and running her own business or she could have worked as a tax accountant and if she had worked as a tax accountant she would have earned $70,000 per year. Now she chose to own and run her own business. Okay. As a result she has given up the $70,000 per year that she could have earned. This is the opportunity cost of choosing to earn or run her own business. Therefore, this will be included in the firm's economic cost. It's very important to understand that economic costs are way more than just the accounting costs because the accounting costs or the explicit costs are the costs where you pay money. But this cost doesn't involve paying money. It just involves giving up on money that you could have earned. And this is part of the firm's economic costs. So, to sum up, remember, economic costs equal implicit costs plus explicit costs. The explicit costs are what we call the accounting costs of the firm. These are the explicit costs, the costs that involve direct payment of money. The implicit costs are the earnings that you um, give up or sacrifice as a result of choosing to actually use your resources instead of hiring them out or selling them to another firm.